Well, it's smelling pretty smoky. Of course, we are hanging out with Bonnie, who is a senior interpreter here at Wanuskewin Heritage Park. We are learning all about their upcoming bison meat smoking event on November 14th. Earlier, we uh, cut up some raw bison, and now Bonnie's going to show you the process, which you'll see on the 14th during their event, uh, but on a much bigger scale. Mm -hmm. So you've set up this uh, smokehouse for our purposes right now. Tell us what the next step is after you've cut the meat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the meat. Well, I've created a rack on the inside. Awesome. Let's open this up. Woo! And Look at that smoke. I'll explain this before, before I put it on. Sure. So this rack hangs up, hangs kind of high, right? Yeah. And the smoke, you can see that's not really a fire in there. It is a fire, but it's mainly smoke and a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. And what I'm not trying to cook it really fast. If I wanted to do that, I would just would have put it in a frying pan. So I'm gonna, I've created some racks here. I'm just gonna place them over top, just like so. And just like that. And so yeah, they hang, they hang there all day. I have some in the back there. We, we made those the other day and it took us all day to make those, all day from 10 up until five o'clock. Perfect. Now, like we did mention in the earlier segment, this is going to be uh, a demonstration that p community members will be shown on the 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, describe why it's important to teach community members about these traditional ways. Well, this is how, like, like how I mentioned earlier, this is how it was done traditionally. Mm -hmm. Long time ago, our people didn't have fridges and our people were the bison people. Our people followed the bison wherever they went. Mm. So they didn't have a fridge with them, nor could they follow take it with them either exactly if they had one so um <laughs> they this is important like traditionally because it was way that it was a way that they preserved the meat yeah mm -hmm. so this was like our traditional jerky i say that because that's how kids can understand make the connection right so this is how it was done traditionally traditionally um they would take the dry meat and then crush it up close to dust form close wow. close and um and then mix it with fat uh, from the bison mm -hmm. and then berries that we have in this area so all those three all those three things are things that we can get here right so long time ago that's what they did and that's how they got pemmican yeah our traditional energy bar yeah. our traditional that's energy like, bar because yeah, in there there <laughs> it contains the protein yep. and the fat and the vitamins from the berries Perfect. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is all very interesting and it's quite the demonstration. So you definitely want to come check that out on Saturday, November 14th. Bonnie, thank you so much. I know You're there's welcome. lots more for community members to learn. So make sure you head to wanaskewin.com slash events for all that information, all of the different events that you have going on through the Heritage Series. I love it. Wanaskewin has so much for community members and it's free of charge. And it's free of charge. And this is just a little tiny tidbit of information. Yeah. Yeah. That day it's going to be... A lot more meat, a lot more information, a lot more laughs. Not like you're any fun. You're awesome. <laughs> more um, laughs than that. I love it. A lot more meat. Yeah. Pun intended. All right. Bonnie, thanks so much. We're going to let this go. Actually, I'd love to try a little yeah, bit. Yeah, for sure. Okay. This is my first bison meat tasting. So okay, bear I'll with me here. Off. Yeah. I won't take the raw stuff. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> no raw for me. Thanks. Smoked only. So like she mentioned, they have smoked this earlier. It took about a day, could take even longer. There you go. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. That is delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. You can taste the smoke. Yes. Definitely taste the smoke. This oh is gosh. one of my favorite things to eat. Yeah. And nowadays people, like they don't, we hardly make pemmican anymore. Mm -hmm. We do for traditional type ceremonies like feasts, mm -hmm. but things that we do with this, we just eat it just like this mm -hmm. or put it in soup. Ah, mm -hmm. So perfect. many things people do with this dry meat. Different ideas. Mm -hmm. All right, well, if you wanna learn all about that, make sure you come check out their bison meat smoking event on the 14th. I'm gonna keep chewing on this, so we'll see you next time.